Let's take a look at how you can build reports and analyze data using the Power BI Designer. I've already connected to an Excel spreadsheet, and if you do the same, you'll see the columns that get imported appear in the field list on the right-hand side here. To start building charts, all you need to do is grab the field you're interested in, let's take product, and drop it onto the canvas. For categorical fields like product, we'll choose a numeric field to go with it, in this case units sold, and plot a column chart for you. If you choose a data type such as country or city, something geographical, we'll plot a map for you. And if you choose something that's a date time field, we'll plot a line chart. The best practice for analyzing data over time is to use line charts. If you need to move your charts around, just click on the white space and drag to where you want it to go. If you want to resize one, just grab one of these circular handles and drag the chart out to the size you need. If you want to change the type of a chart, you can select the chart you're interested in and then come up to the ribbon and expand this visualization gallery. Let's choose something like a tree map. The great thing about charts in Power BI is that they're all linked. So if I'm interested in just the sales from Canada, I can click on the data point for Canada and see the line chart update and see the relevant portions of the tree map get highlighted for just sales from Canada. I'm just running out of space on this page. To insert a new one, just come up to the ribbon and click the new page button. You'll see a new page get inserted on the left and now I can create some new charts in this space. So I'm gonna grab units sold. There's another way that I can control exactly what appears on this chart. And that's by using this area in the bottom right hand corner. We call this the field well. Each of these boxes represents a different element of the chart. So for example, if I want to see product on the axis, I just drag product into that box. If you wanted to see separate series for each segment that we're being sold to, drag that into the legend. And you can see now a separate bar for each segment. You can use these vertical multiples and horizontal multiples boxes to create multiple small charts to help analyze more complex data sets. If you want to remove one of these again, you can just click the little cross button or right click and choose remove field. I'm going to create another chart now, again using product, but this time I want to look at manufacturing costs instead of the units sold. So I can drag manufacturing costs into the values and see those two plotted against each other. I'd actually like to see a correlation between manufacturing costs and the number of units that were sold. Typically, to view correlations, we'll look at a scatter chart with those two different variables on the X and Y axes. Now, as a shortcut to creating a scatter chart, if you've got two visuals that share the same axis, in this case product, you can just grab one, drop it on top of the other, and we'll convert it to a scatter chart for you. So we can see here our Paseo product. It's pretty cheap to manufacture, and we're selling a lot of them as well. So it's probably fairly high profit. Let's investigate that by taking the profit before tax and dropping that into the size box in the field well. Sure enough, Paseo is the largest, showing us that it's got the highest profit before tax of any of the products. So that's the basics. You can use the Power BI Designer to create some simple reports and start analyzing your data. Thanks very much.